This is a bit different for a 60 Symbols video in that actually it's a sort of meta video in that it's not actually about science, it's about 60 Symbols itself. And the exciting news is that there is the opportunity for somebody new to get involved in the whole project. Uh, somebody to come and join the team, start making some of the videos, start doing some science. The whole point of this series is that they're kind of bits of science being described by scientists. And so we do want somebody who is a professional scientist getting involved in this. But what's a bit different about it is that you'll notice most of the people doing the videos are getting on a bit these days. We've been doing them for a while. And so what's exciting about this is we're going to get somebody at a much earlier stage in a scientific career involved in the whole project so that not only can they talk about the science, but obviously one of the questions we get asked quite a lot of the time is, you know, what's it like to be starting out in a career in science? For us, that was all a fair while ago. So having somebody who's actually going through that process now can talk about what it's like to be starting in a career in science, as well as talking about the science itself is part of what we're trying to do. So it's called the 60 Symbols Ogden Fellowship is what we've managed to create. And the, there are different parts of that. So let's start at the back end. Fellowship basically means this is a postdoctoral researcher who can do whatever they like. So the, it's kind of the distinction between a, just a general postdoc and a fellow is that fellows really dictate their own research program. So we want somebody to come in who's got exciting ideas about what science they want to be doing anywhere within physics or astronomy. This is a real research position. You know, it's going to be two, you know, two thirds of the time doing research, one third of the time maybe doing outreach type things, but it's fundamentally a proper research position and a very exciting opportunity because as I say, the person who's coming in really will get to, to define what their research program is. So that's the fellowship bit. The bit in the middle, uh, well, the bit at the beginning is 60 symbols. That's the easy bit. The bit in the middle, the Ogden bit, is because obviously this takes money and we've been looking around trying to find somebody to support this idea. Um, and the Ogden Trust, which is a charitable trust that kind of promotes physics in the UK, um, has uh, agreed to fund, partly fund the position. Um, so part of the job will actually be, be supporting the kind of the Ogden Trust's agenda of getting out into the community, talking about physics, encouraging groups of people who don't typically go into scientific careers to go into scientific careers. What are they going to have to do with 60 symbols or do we, well, uh, I guess I have some say in that too. You'd probably get to say a bit about that. I mean, uh, my initial idea was really that they just, they fit in with the team. So they start making the kind of videos that we make generally. Obviously they'll bring their own particular interests. So hopefully some new areas of physics that we haven't been covering um, but also to talk more generally about what they're up to what it's like to be doing the job that they're doing um, you know when they start applying for their own funding and those kinds of things they can talk about all that just talking about things from that early career perspective that the rest of us don't really have they'll feature in the videos and you know if they have particular skills they want to bring to bear that we don't currently use then that would be fine too so it is a postdoctoral position um, which means that one of the requirements of the post is you have to have a PhD um, that's that's really it though um, and so we're looking for somebody who's probably just at the point of completing a PhD now or completed it within the last year or so, um, who's looking for their first sort of serious research position. I want an astronomer, but that's just because I'm an astronomer. And if you talk to Phil Moriarty, he wants a, you know, a, a, a nice nanotechnologist. So I'm sure we all have our own idea as exactly who the right person for the job is. But there is no, there is no, there is no set person though, is there? There is no real, no, there's no agenda, no hidden agenda here. We haven't got somebody lined up already. It's a completely open competition. When we're appointing postdoctoral researchers, the main thing we look at is you know their CV and publication list and all those kinds of things. So we're going to ask for all those uh, those things, but obviously this is a bit different. And so the other thing we're asking people to do is to make a video themselves, uh, no more than two minutes duration, just explaining some piece of science they do. Not really, not necessarily in the style of 60 symbols, but kind of at the level of 60 symbols. So just to kind of demonstrate they have that ability to explain what they're doing in the kind of way that we explain things. And the other thing to stress about that is when we come to kind of assess those videos, we're not going to look at the technical quality. Um, you know, assuming the video is viewable and the sounds audible and those kinds of things, we're really not going to be critiquing them because you know we have an entirely adequate cameraman. Um, so. <laughs> What was that you said? <laughs> <laughs> the position is funded for two years, so it's a two-year position. Uh, obviously, we're hoping that it'll be a huge success and everyone will be falling all over themselves to continue funding it, but it will be guaranteed for two years at least. You know, there's lots of reasons why we're excited about this. It's a new thing. We're pushing the project in new directions. Um, it's an opportunity to do some new science. And I guess what's most exciting about that is it's an opportunity to do new science that wouldn't have happened at all if it wasn't for 60 Symbols. So actually the science that comes out of this is science that wouldn't have been done if it weren't for the 60 Symbols videos. Um, so which I think is a really kind of exciting aspect of the whole thing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> restrict the amount of light coming in to isolate exactly the wavelengths that we want. So it turns our wide filter into a filter with a width of just a nanometer or so. 
and it's tunable, so it's got two little plates inside, a reflecting material, 